Bourbon, what is it? Before we get into what bourbon is, let's talk about whiskey a little bit. Whiskey is a liquor distilled from a fermented grain mash, which may be malted or not. Various grains are used for different varieties and may include corn, barley, rye, or wheat. In addition, whiskey is typically aged in wooden casks. This is Kurt Sassick, president of Wine Taster's Choice. Today we're going to talk about bourbon. And we're going to talk about whiskey a little bit as well, because you can't have bourbon without whiskey. And by the way, if you don't mind, how about giving us a like and a comment on the video as well? Bourbon is a type of whiskey. So all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. Just like all champagne is wine, but not all wines are champagne. Or all cognac is brandy, but not all brandies are cognac. So what separates bourbon from whiskey? If I may steal a quote from the Jim Beam website, the answer is both nothing and a lot. There are many different kinds of whiskey and it is a strictly regulated spirit with many classes and types around the world. To name a few, there is Scotch whiskey, Japanese whiskey, Irish whiskey, Tennessee whiskey, Canadian whiskey, rye whiskey, bourbon, and Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Here are the requirements for America's native spirit, AKA bourbon. It must be made in the United States. It must be a product from a fermented mash of at least 51% corn. It must be distilled at no more than 160 proof, stored at no more than 125 proof in new charred oak barrels. It must be aged for a minimum of two years. It must be free from additives. Some whiskey makers add flavoring or caramel color to their whiskeys, but these are not allowed in bourbon. The whiskey called Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey which is what Jim Beam is, must not only meet all of the rules above, but it must also be made in Kentucky. For those of you selling bourbon, a quicker and simpler explanation as to what the difference is between whiskey and bourbon is this. For whiskey to be considered bourbon, by law, it must be produced in America and made from 51% corn, while whiskey does not. A quick note on distilling spirits. As any type of alcohol is distilled, it comes off the still at a higher proof, but the process also removes anything that isn't alcohol from the liquid, including flavor. Having a maximum proof means bourbon maintains more of the flavors from the mash that would otherwise be lost with further distilling. So what does aging in oak barrels do to the bourbon or any other alcohol for that matter? Different types of woods bring different notes to the alcohol that is aged within the barrel. Some woods may impart a bit of spice or vanilla or other flavors. New oak barrels will impart a stronger oak flavor than used barrels because as barrels are used, the oak flavor diminishes with each use. Charring the barrels will also change the flavor as well. So how does bourbon taste? Well, the longer bourbon ages in charred oak barrels, the more mellow it becomes. Compared to most barley and rye based whiskeys, bourbon has a natural sweetness because it's made with 51% corn. Some history for you. The name bourbon was not applied until the 1850s and the Kentucky etymology was not advanced until the 1870s. According to the Distilled Spirits Council of the United States in 2018, US distilleries derived 3.6 billion in revenue from bourbon and Tennessee whiskey, which is a close related spirit produced in uh, duh, Tennessee. The U.S. regulations for labeling and advertising bourbon apply only to products made for consumption within the United States. They do not apply to distilled spirits made for export. Canadian law requires products labeled as bourbon to be made in the United States and conform to requirements that apply within the United States. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Stay tuned for other videos on different types of whiskey as well.